Okay, so in this video, what we're looking at, or we're talking about, are the different types of tables that you can have in SQL Server. And before we get started, it just bears mentioning <clears throat> SQL Server could care less what you consider to be table types. To SQL Server, a table is a table. That means it has fields, it has records, but it could care less how you refer to them because it doesn't mean anything to SQL Server. SQL Server is oblivious. But in real life, if you're working on some kind of system or you're making some software, the two types of tables that you'll usually be working with are what we call data tables and then lookup tables. <clears throat> lookup tables can also be called setup tables, or if you just fresh out of school, maybe you call them atomic tables. But the difference is basically this. Data tables are usually the big important tables that you kind of think of when you're thinking of a database. Those are the ones that have the most fields, the most records, and it's expected that they will grow in size on a daily basis. Also, because of the size of them and because of the um, the way the data is set up, other smaller tables, known as lookup tables or setup tables, can actually oftentimes be used as building blocks to make the records in the bigger tables. Lookup tables and setup tables, basically they have smaller numbers of fields. Um, the amount of records is usually relatively finite. It, it can change, but it usually doesn't change very often. And most of the time, these lookup tables don't have foreign keys, meaning you're not using other lookup tables as building blocks for these tables, hence the term atomic. Um, in a data or in a system, in a software program, a lot of times you may have to pick options from a dropdown or a list box. Generally speaking, those dropdowns are being populated or filled with the information that comes from these smaller lookup tables. Here's what it might look graphically, just as a couple of examples. Um, in this uh, pseudo table, we have a data table and it's for customers. But notice there's this one field here, CT key. This is really a pointer to another table and we're gonna use the term customer type. In other words, here's a person, here's a company. Here's a person, here's a company, here's something else. You may wanna know for these customers, you know, is it an individual, is it a business, is it a nonprofit? Well, this other table called customer type, this lookup table, actually has these values individual, business, and nonprofit. And the way that you marry that stuff all together is in this data table, I'm using these numbers as pointers so that the system can go look in this lookup table. It can look up this value and see what's next to it individual. And the way that that works in real life is usually to create a record in this table when you're selecting this value, you usually see a drop-down that has these values, but behind the scenes, SQL Server will instead use this value to put into this table. So this record is related to that record, hence the term relational database. 